Hi, this is Claude, and in this video, I want to tell you about pulmonary system functions. So here is the lung, and of course, it's going to take in low oxygen in the blood and exchange with more oxygen. This is the first function, obvious one. Also, in this process, there are a lot of alveoli, and capillaries will run through them, and 110 millimeters of blood that come in here can spread through all the space of the size of a tennis court. This happens because the vessels here are so thin, 10 micrometer thin, size of red blood cells. And because of this, this whole system can act by a filter. So when blood clot gets to the right atrium, right ventricle, and then lung, it will be hopefully filtered out by the lung. And if the filtering is bad, then the stuff can go to the left atrium, left ventricle, and to the rest of the body. The next lung function is ACE1 and ACE2. And these are enzymes working against each other. Angiotensin, touch ACE2 become another form of angiotensin that favors constriction and other angiotensins touch ACE2 and become another form of angiotensin that favors unwinding. This constriction unwinding flavor of function is common to lung and let's talk about another one which is icosanoids, the umbrella term for a bunch of lipid molecules. These include things like prostaglandin, leukotrienes, they control constriction and opening of things. And another function, the carbohydrate metabolism Lung uses a lot of mucus, and the mucus is made with carbohydrates. Also, lung uses a lot of surfactant, also made with carbohydrates. So lung is actually a big consumer of carbohydrates. And finally, you have molecules like serotonin, norepinephrine, a bunch of amine molecules that lung process and do their metabolism for. In summary, lung does lots of gas exchange, but also serves as an important filter of the body. ACE, ACE2 found in the lung do angiotensin metabolism, making angiotensin that favors constriction, angiotensin that favors relaxing. Lung processes a bunch of acosanoids, prostaglandins, leukotrienes, which again do this constriction opening of things. A bunch of carbohydrate metabolism happen in the lung because lung is a big consumer of mucus and surfactant. And finally, amines also get processed in the lung a lot.